Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's time to grip and rip. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. A warm welcome back to the channel. I am Jed Lockett, and today we are continuing. Our set build of 1988 Fleer Baseball. I have another Wax Pack here. I have another Cello Pack. And I have another Rack Pack. 88 cards will be opening in this break. And all to put towards our base set of 660. We've got 320 already. We need 340 to go. We have 27 of the 52 stickers and two of the 12 all-star inserts that we are looking for. And I will show you the all-star inserts. We'll actually put that back there so I can show you Matt Noakes here and Tom Hankey, the all-stars that we need. And we have two of the six headliners that we need. Mark McGuire, we've seen him three times already, and Jack Morris. So we are going to be looking for those cards. We'll get at least one headliner that we know of. Of the base cards that we are looking for, we actually found Bo Jackson in the last break. So the big names as far as base we are still looking for, the Tom Glavin rookie, the Mark Grace rookie. Uh, we're looking for 286, the Mark McGuire base, and my PC, number 544, Dale Murphy. So, with all of that having been said, I am going to take a little bit of a gamble here. We're going to take uh, 1986 Fleer, Dale Murphy, and we will put him in the background and he is going to watch over this particular break so with all of that having been said let us grip and rip i am doing very well today i actually just came back from a card show had some really really fun pickups uh our uh Wax back card, uh, Hubie Brooks, so we'll set him to the side. Look for another copy of Mr. Brooks. Probably be able to find one uh, at some point uh, with all the AA Fleer that I bought. Uh, we've got the A's and Astros as our baseball stickers. And then, oh yeah, the other side, we have the Metrodome, home of the Minnesota Twins. So, our cards in this pack, John Franco, Jose Nunez, Rob Malicote, Floyd Bannister, Jerry Mumphrey, Del Sviam. I'll actually bring this a little bit closer. There we go! Boom! The PC hit of my childhood has been recreated. The first PC hit. Of my childhood, I should say. 88 Fleer, Dale Murphy. There he is. Yes, I know he's going in a binder, but I don't care. I'm going to sleeve him up anyway. We're putting him next to 86 Fleer, Dale Murphy. And those two can enjoy each other's company for the remainder of this break. Great start. That is... that. Well, this break has been satiated as far as i'm concerned we're we're done we're done that's it no we're not we're gonna open up the rest of the packs anyway uh dave hangel uh chris spire chet lemon ed whitson uh ken gearhart ralph bryant and tony phillips folks if you love getting a pc hit out of a pack like I just did, then please smack that like button over the center field fence. It really helps out the channel, helps me know that 
you are enjoying these videos and helps me to make better videos. It also helps out that YouTube algorithm. Uh, let's them know that you're enjoying these videos as well. Scott Geralt's begins the cello pack, and he's followed by Jose Canseco. We were not looking for him immediately on our list, but he is one we need, so we will put that in the background. One of the two Bash brothers of the Oakland A's back in the late 80s. And a very fearsome slugger in his time. Sean Abner, Jeff Sellers, there's Gary Carter again, looking all bemused and everything. So we're going to see doubles, I'm afraid. Willie Randolph, Bob Kipper, Tim Loudner, Luis Aguayo, Tom Candiotti, Ron Robinson, George Bell, Robbie Wine, Jose De Leon. Our stickers in the cello pack, we have the Milwaukee Brewers. And on the other side of the Brewers sticker is Milwaukee County Stadium, home of the Milwaukee Brewers. And for at least one game every year, the Green Bay Packers, back long ago. And the other sticker, the Cubs and the Athletics. So this is, this is one heck of an A's break that we've got here. We got... Uh, the two smaller A's stickers, and Jose Canseco, all in one break. So, A's fans, congratulations. I hope you're enjoying this. Wallace Johnson, we've got a Carmen Castillo, Rafael Palmero, Jim Wynn, Pedro Guerrero, Cecil Cooper, Andres Thomas, Mike Boddicker, Jose Cruz, Harold Reynolds, much younger Harold Reynolds than he is these days on television, Lee Tunnell, Walt Terrell, Mark Ryle, and Pete O'Brien ends the cello pack. Let me pull something out here because I actually picked this up at the card show I was at earlier and is actually <laughs> add that to my Dale Murphy PC that I got going on this was from 87 tops my favorite set as a kid my favorite ball player uh, as a kid growing up so we'll put him in the background as well and we're going to rip into this. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control, and I think I like it. I'm so stoked about getting that Murphy out of the cello pack that I'm just knocking moving the camera around, knocking stuff all over the place. All right, so we've got three wax packs in the rack pack, and we will open those up. The last one is going to contain our headliners insert. If we didn't pick up an all-star team insert, I can live with that after pulling Dale Murphy. Dennis Eckersley is our wax pack card. Shame that that's the wax back one. We'll put him to the side. The baseball sticker is going to be the Mariners and the Cubs. And the other side has Bush Stadium, home of the St. Louis Cardinals. All right, so we've got Corey Snyder in this pack. Buddy Bell, Crunch Time, Strawberry and Davis. I think that's a double. We're going to see doubles again. Dave Smith, yep, Ron Hassey, we've seen him before. Saw plenty of him during 88 Donruss, too. Leon Durham, Glenn Braggs, Paul Ossenmacher, Mike Campbell, Mike Krukow, Matt Noakes. There's another Tony Gwynn, and another Cal Ripken Jr. right behind him, so... 
We have both of those base cards, but two Hall of Famers? Yeah, we'll take it. And Mike Marshall ends that little bit of wax. Next, wax pack out of the rack pack. That sounds weird to say, but then again, Clear decided to do that between 1984 and 88, so what can you do? Uh, Jeff Blauser is our wax pack card, so we'll put him to the side. We have the Metrodome as one side of our sticker, which is stuck to the card. So I'm being gentle, trying to... It's stuck. That is That was stuck. The Minnesota Twins is our sticker. And you can see... A bit of that sticker got stuck to Pat Clemens here. Nineteen eighty eight Fleer, I'm not too concerned about it. We have Mike Dunn, Jeff Reardon, Tom Hume, Kelly Gruber, John Davis, Danny Cox, Spike Owen. Randy St. Clair. I see a good one coming up. Jay Bell. Les Lancaster. Harold Baines. Oral Hershiser. That was the good one that I saw coming up. 59 scoreless innings at one point he threw. And I'll have to look it up. I don't think he's in the Hall of Fame. If he's not, he really should be. But that is a really good one to get. And our last card in that pack is Jay Aldrich. Okay. Let us get some last pack mojo going here. I'm looking for headliners. I either want a headliners that's not Mark McGuire or a base card that is Mark McGuire. I'm a simple guy. Either one or the other, but not both in the same thing. Our wax back card is Calvin Schiraldi. So we'll put him to the side. Our sticker is the New York Mets. We have met them before, as far as the stickers are concerned. And we'll bring those to the front. We have Cecil Espy in this pack. Gene Walter. Jack Howell. Lance Parrish. I love the Phillies uniforms that they wore in the 80s. That maroon color with the maroon pinstripes and that logo. That is cool. I really, I'm a fan of that stuff. Uh, Dave Rigetti and Dan Plesak is our superstar specials. Uh, Greg Matthews, Brad Arnsberg, Junior Ortiz, Bert Blylevin, Dennis Rasmussen. Rick Leach is all faded and everything, so we'll search for another copy of his card. Steve Balboni, Todd Worrell, and now the Mets are going to reveal our headliner. Okay. So we're going to come up. It's either Strawberry or Gooden. That is Dwight Gooden. Pitcher for the Mets. How appropriate was that? We had the Mets sticker. He was hiding Dwight Gooden. We can now officially say we're halfway through the headliners insert set. We have the Jack Norris and the Mark McGuire. We can now add Dwight Gooden to that as well. Folks, that was a fun break. This 88 Fleer, it has been it has been a real joy to go through 
these cards with you. Uh, not quite the issues as 88 Donruss presented. Uh, and I am enjoying it as much for that as anything else. But these are actually really nice cards. And it was great to see uh, my childhood PC of Dale Murphy pop up again. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications. I am Jed Lockett, and I'm wishing you nothing but good things in the cards.